Hello and welcome to Earth Star Talk 25. And I have a little demand from this guy here to talk about tree spirit, spirits and dryads. So um, last night, this guy appeared in my dream and you're wondering why I'm holding a simple stick. Well, it's not really a simple stick. This tool is a tool uh, where a tree spirit cloned itself into this piece of wood. And the tree is situated in England and the tool maker is one of the tree spirits um, friends of the dryads and they're the tribe of the silver dub tree elves. It's a tribe of four tribe there, um, some with mustache up way, they be belong to the pig tribe and then some have a different other features which were notoriously been remarked upon in our Napoleon's army because they had all a certain tail extension uh, in the back. But um, there are again four tribes and these silver dog tree elf tribe works with tree dryads. Tree dryads are spirits higher selves of a tree. In one other Earth Star talk, I already talked about this higher self, the, the trees, and that they're mostly uh, communicating to regular humans when they're standing on ley lines. In general, trees talk to each other. They have these energy field auras and the consciousness awareness, the dryad, talks from one end of the world to the whole other end of the world, like all over the globe. I have witnessed this one time. I was uh, sitting in a cemetery, relaxing. It was close to my house. It was always a very peaceful place. So I was sitting on the park bench and I saw that the energy field, the aura of the trees was moving to the very right. And I saw the other aura of the tree. They were like conversing, the aura was shifting. And then the tree aura moved back and then it moved to the left and uh, was talking, so to speak, conversing and aura shifting with another tree. And then it came back around its physical form. So I thought that's interesting. So this is how trees talk. And then later um, I came in contact with the Dusty Millers. That's their physical worldly name of one of the tribal members. And he was Dusty Miller, or is Dusty Miller, the 13th. In that lineage, there's always the seventh son of a seventh son of the seventh son working with these or creating these tools. So how does that work? About right now, around Christmas time, a little bit before that, when the trees go dormant, the Dusty Miller stream, like I dread last night was this one, and the trees call them into the woods and say, come here and cut this piece here off and here off. And then they harvest it, cut it off with a saw, and then go to the next one. And another tree says, oh, and here you, you can have this piece. And here you can have this piece. At least that's how Dusty Miller the 13th described it when I was in one of his seminars. And once they have been harvested, they, go, they come home to the Dusty Millers and the Dusty Millers have a house which is on a mini vortex. That means where several ley lines crisscross. And he was telling uh, me that then the tree dryads kind of like collapse and go in and up, meaning they're drawn into a higher sphere and get a certain training, how they're going to work with a future human partner and already who they're going to work with. Sounds maybe a little bit outlandish, but it's true because I have witnessed this myself that 
um, in a seminar where they were selling these pieces, and I will introduce you some of these pieces later on. So they had them all laying out and um, you could touch them like I have this one, but this is for example here a power torque, different ones, and they're laying out there on top of their little description. And so a gentleman comes by, cannot see and feels. And he says, this is interesting. This little round piece, they have also round pieces like this. That's a linden piece, little decorated for just attractive purposes in the first place, but later that can rub off. So this one had little knobs on top. And they said, this is funny. This piece has my name and braille on it. And then he got it and the tree dryer, the tree spirit cloned into the little wood piece um, were communicating in the tree spirit, which always had a connection to the mother tree, worked with him further in, in a different seminar. Dusty Miller was then telling us that he, uh, you know, was very happy with working with the spirit world, with the tree world. And the tree was showing him all sorts of things, what was going on around the globe, and also what was going on in history, because these trees are oftentimes more than thousands of years old. There is one tree in England, which is about 4,000 years old. And some of the tool pieces, Dusty Miller the 13th was allowed to harvest, and therefore also the tree enclosed its wisdom into it, uh, he has. So this particular one who asked me to talk a little bit about it is actually called a wise man healing tool. I don't know whether you can see this. Wise man healing tool. I think I should take the paper off this little baggie and then it's better visible. So this is how they come. And this piece, this one who talked to me last night is in from an English view, Taxus Pacata. And this particular bias healing tool, like a doctor, professor, so to speak, in regard of wisdom, and was harvested in a ley line and ley vortex energy in Kent area. So, and then um, they're talking a little bit of how it was uh, harvested and created because they're saying that there is a taming ritual going on. So the tree, dryad, higher self spirit is untamed. But when it collapses, um, the spirit here in cloned into the wood um, at the ley line house of the Dusty Millers and the dryad is then dragged upwards and trained to go beyond its regular wisdom. So we have something double special. We have a tool which connects with the original, uh, like a little antenna here, like the um, original tree dried by herself of a, you know, very, very old tree. I'm not sure how old this particular piece is, but at least several hundred years old. They don't, they rarely work with younger trees. And um, then after a certain period, while Dusty Miller works with them to, for example, put the sheen on to preserve it, put the lacquer on. Sometimes there are um, also decorations like I showed earlier here for the one which works with teachers, for the teacher within you. And they, they put lacquer on, they put little strings on and they put little cannings on so that you understand, oh, this is for this. This is for having your face up front and friendly as a teacher and helping you to teach. But there are so many different things. I cannot even name them all. Designer here is one. They put a little different thing in for a bringing information in from all directions and therefore little four-sided square here, but also um, so it's designated for designing. Um, and then here we have for inner feelings, little flower feelings blooming. But we also have very peculiar 
Vans and the Dusty Miller 14s who took over now, he is the servant son of Dusty Miller the 13s. Um, this one is for example, a palm wand. And if somebody has seen Harry Potter movies, this would be a real wand to swish and flick and do stuff with, only that this works. And it's a discrete form to do energy work. So sometimes you see here, it has little indentation. And for the perfect owner, that person's hand would most likely perfectly fit exactly in here so that the energy meridians of the person would be nicely. This might even be for a left-handed person. It feels, no, it could be for both ambidextrous. Yeah, to me, it feels more comfortable in my right hand, but again, I'm right-handed. Could be also for a left-handed one. So anyway, these ones, um, all of them are very unique in its own way. This one is a rowan or mountain ash from Europe. And um, you can do very powerful things with them. Very similar to the Harry Potter stuff. Um, very interesting for energy workers. I just wanna show you some more things, palm wands, and let's say a healing wand. This is a very knobby one, similar to the wise men wand, I, who wanted to take the forefront and say, I want to be shown. Let's talk about this again. So here we have a point, and people who do acupuncture or acupressure um, they can easily use this piece for various reasons. But whoever might get this in the future might laugh about it because only the destined owner will know exactly what needs to be done here. I find it very peculiar, this round spot, so it's probably going into a bigger hand. He showed me, or I'm saying he, but... Um, this triad showed me it's used to be for acupressure, acupuncture, but also other energy healings. Um, and also being in one's pocket to be carried everywhere in case of emergency and meditate with it and direct energies to certain uh, levels. So the wise woman healing tool, I find interesting because this one has very particular holes here and they have been accentuated. So when in this particular piece here, there these one, two, three holes are accentuated, that means that there is an energy exchange, almost like an energy blow hole. And I presume that it's exactly going to fit into the right, the hand of a person. So that for example, this finger goes on here and the other finger goes along the other hole. And so we grasp these tools into a way and then my thumb goes onto this little knob here. So here it fits comfortable, but it might be again for a left-handed person. Ooh, this is interesting. Wow, it wants to work with me for a while. Thank you. So I will put this aside. This is a wise woman healing tool. And we have a healing circle tonight. So I will use this as well. Thank you, this is really nice. And let's see whoever else wants to be shown off here. This is for example, a general healing tool, very simple very easy, fits in every pocket. And again, this is not a sales pitch, folks. This is <laughs> on demand by this one. But these pieces are oftentimes receiver and this is sender parts. So when we are holding these 
in a slide grip, we have this part going into our palm while we're circling our hand here. Yeah, actually, this is more for a left hand for sure. And then um, when you hold it while meditating, there's an energy exchange. Right now, I'm feeling an energy exchange coming in and out of my left hand. So this is definitely for a left handed person. And it could also be in general that the person. Now, actually, I'm told right and left handed people can use this in the left hand. Why? Because left-handed is incoming energy and therefore it's this is like an antenna for meditation purposes. And the theme of this friendly drive is self-confidence. And when you meditate and talk to this being, I'm getting it. Okay, dryads are never male or female, but this is very soft. So to me, it feels more female. And um, yeah, this wants to work and help the person to get more self-confidence. And obviously self-confidence needs to come in. So left hand. This is another little magic palm wand. And you can see from defty and hefty to wonderful dainty. There's everything there. And this one always reminds me of a little delicate bird, which emanates very delicate energy, but very pointed. When I hold it here, I wish you, uh, everybody could see the energy, but I, I can uh, feel it very strongly, how it comes out of the point. And again, here we have this resonates, resonance uh, area, incoming and outgoing. And obviously this knobby part might be held or felt. I just want to show you the variety of what the dryads have in mind. And here is another heal yourself and others healing one. So this would be for a healer, very simple. Yeah, and all around, ah, my tongue wants to be here. So definitely something you work with, hold, while you're doing healing work long distance or in person. Yeah, this is also ambidextrous. Feels very nice in a mid-side sand like mine. Yeah, feels also a little bit better left-handed. Hmm? Who knows? Um, people who are attracted to these things, they most likely will dream about one and then um, do research. When I had a store in Sedona, uh, a gallery where I also worked um, psychically and did mentorship groups with, um, I had also vendors and I had my own little exhibition table and I had some of the dryads out, which normally I only really bring to showcase when I'm asked to when something is up in the universe that people need it or people re request to see them because they're heard from the dusty millers that I have. Quite a bunch of them. And again, all of them wanna work with humans to better their human self. So here we have other general helpmates for everyday healing. Also very straightforward, very simple, but powerful. This feels really good on the right hand. And one can see and sense that it resonates very easily, even though I haven't even spoken to this one yet, it already wants to go to work. Very nice. And then I just want to share with you some, this is about bird spirits. This is another palm wand. Palm wands are, are again, they're like the professors. Uh, of the spirit world. And this is a like purple plum blue and has these snobby parts. So it's, it's almost like snobby parts have an accelerator in them. I find when I touch these, I'm getting like a jolt and it's almost like also looks a little bit like a bird. 
and might want to be held this way so that this can be free. You see here also, uh, I don't know whether you can see it. There are some energy, there are some holes in there for energy acceleration. This one is a pin or cross oak, ancient, ancient from the feel of it, getting chills. Now this is your shaman's tool. And so again, I this is not a sales pitch. This is just to show you and show them. Uh, just here to show, to pull out of the pocket if need be, probably meant for men. Uh, shamanic power layman is bringing out your psychic powers, hidden talents, developing your mind expansion and expansion of com um, consciousness and is dermas oak or a winter oak. I had a long sword one time uh, made out of winter oak and uh, after I had it for years, the dryad asked me to give it to a shaman of the Amazon. And later I learned that the tribe, which was attacked by loggers, could defend themselves. But the interesting thing is that that little sword of mine showed me that as a reason why it wanted to leave me and go to that shaman of that tribe who was attacked because it showed me, let's say this is a small one, but mine was really arm's length, exactly actually like my arm's length. And ah, it had the eyes of like those on, on the end uh, and it was just lovely. I'm still connecting to it once in a while. And it was holding space energetically and was calling and almost like the tree army to come together to say, no, we are, you know, we are keep bringing in enforcements, we bringing in authorities, you will not lock this area of trees. So it, there was almost like an energy war going on and this piece, which I had uh, from the Dusty Millers was in the middle of it from the British forests. So this one is one like this, very strong, strong shamanic layman. And again, it works for conscious awareness expansion. Okay, let's see what else who wants to show themselves off. This is here an energy injector, healing energy injector. And it looks like a long thorn and a incoming energy. So I always feel it needs to be held this way or that way. And then we acupuncture wise, instead of needles, we just have to hold it. And I feel an instant energy pulse like going through my system. So that's how that one works. I can get really excited about these things because uh, Dusty Miller the 13th recognized me as one of their own from past lives or parallel life and entrusted me all these beautiful beings here. Um, this one is for a singer helping to develop voice. This one is for the teacher was in, we had one like that already earlier. This one wants to discover and work with your intuition. I don't want to bring them all out of their little bag. Originally, they came with little plastic baggies like this, but um, the plastic baggies, you know, get ready after a while. So I'll put them in a little bit more nicey covers. This one wants to work with a dancer within you, somebody who wants to develop good dancing skills. This is for an entertainer. There's a little gimmicky face on it. And this for a successful webmaster within you. So these are more task specific. So they might help you also with um, other things, but their specialty. That's why we talked or earlier when it was like tamed, that the wild dryad is not just only walking with you the world because the tree itself you know doesn't have legs so it uses your legs 
that's the exchange. You get the knowledge, but it gets the freedom to go around where it normally has to stay put. Yes, energetically, it's like remote viewing, but it's different when you remote view a place or whether you can actually feel it, see it, sense it, be there. And that's why the dryads in the first place wanted this exchange with humans. And that's why the tribe of original shamans of the Silver Dope Tree Elves got approached by the tree dryads to say, hey, let's work together. Let's, let's make humans more aware and we share our wisdom. So this one is for a successful red master. This is the creative power in your hands. See that each one has a little symbol in it to represent what it will do. But those, when you wear them, they will rub off. And the wood, which was light, will darken. And I can tell you out of my own experience that um, some of them will even emit a little woodsy fragrance, like perfume almost, when you work with them. This one is a DM one, a Dusty Miller one. Um, Dusty Miller is just a family name, an adopted family name. They all have regular first names. For example, Dusty Miller, the 14th name is Alun as first name. So this one is for achieving your heart's desire, whatever that is. So the essence of the Dusty Miller working with the trees were embedded in this as well. Then we have some protection things. So this one is, for example, a gum dryad. It keeps your, your voyage in your boat safe and sound. So this is a particular one for boat travel. I have in my car one for uh, car travel, but I also have one for my business. I don't have any left, I think. But I wanted to at least show you how that looks like because it has runes on them. And who can read runes will be able to decipher what these runes are for. But they will definitely create an energy shield around the business and business premises so that nothing can be easily stolen or that people, when they enter your premises, do not get any real thoughts, what they shouldn't do in your space and so on. So I have mine here um, and I look at it and rub it from time to time because they wanna be handled. And I think that's why this big boy here uh, said, I want to be, you know, handled. I want to be working. I don't want to be just there in the cupboard. So that's why I think he wanted me to bring them all out. Of course, I cannot just show you one, right? So this is another shamanic layman for shamans. It's very powerful. It has uh, Dusty Miller, 13th and 14th, they work a little bit different. So these are the tools from the elderly gentleman who is now retired. And um, this green shows what it's mostly wanting to do. And here's green too. And that's like create, getting you into your own nature, connecting you with your own nature and uh, bringing you to awareness about your nature and your talents and uh, let you be in your own space, finding your own way, your own path, different from other people. And while I'm holding it this right now here, um, it also already talks to me a little bit to say, I wanna help somebody to be their own person and to go their own path, whatever that means, means and be a little bit not a, uh, conventional so this this person who is this shaman layman meant for will definitely be a forerunner and a torchbearer doing things differently here we have another wise woman healing tool and this wise woman healing tool um, you can see is different than this one so each one is individually totally different this one has some knobs here so i find when i find these knobs that if someone wants to go there 
just really naturally because in the thumb a lot of power comes in that's the you know mars finger the power finger and then you come here into the area of your softer heart energy so you're directing with your heart the energy of your power out into the world with this one and uh, that seems to be healing tool so the what do the dryads do when they work with a healer they're multiplying that person's energy like in this defense case of my former dryad uh, which i gave to the shaman for you know the safety of the tribe and the safety of the amazon region there where they were residing can pull in other uh, dryads help now this is a very special one and this is called an elfin guide it's like a little knife they have sometimes different colors and this is a slight purple as you can see and with a little maroon handle and this is made from a sacred 3600 year old tree again what is stronger than a professor or what is higher than a professor i do not know but this is the professors of professors um yeah 3600 year old growing in their lay vortex in a prehistoric hollow place of kent this is also in english jew um taxus bacata and is definitely here for tapping into a wild and wide array of levels of awareness. Definitely part for strong self-development and very powerful indeed. So this is something. Um, then we have master to follow in the master's footsteps. If somebody, um, you know, has a guru and finds it hard to meditate, this little dryad would help the person to uh, sit still and meditate better. And this is another one of uh, supporting intuition and awareness. It's from a clone from a linden tree dryad. So this is linden wood, the lighter one. Um, linden wood, you know. Um, in Germany, I always said, Liebe Linde in mir verbinde das Gute und das Reine in mir vereine. I will translate it, this little phrase which came to me in regard of the linden tree. It's like good linden tree in me combine the pure and the cl uh, clarity so that I can walk, walk off the path of good and clarity, so to speak. Really bad translation. But sometimes it's hard to translate things on the run. So this one here is keyboard operator, totally different tree. Oftentimes out of this one is also protection uh, been done elderberry hollander um, elderberry is very strong protective and maybe this to be a fast keyboard operator will also help to be protected by uh, continuous radiation from computers not sure why that was used to be one of the normal elderberry protection pieces here we have another one fast you know in the master's footsteps let's see what else is unusual here healing elixirs intuition singing we have that oh yeah here's one other one of the elfin knives for the shamanic multidimensional consciousness awareness of this 3600 year of tree same tree a little bit different makeshift little bit different form. I tell you that the dryads tell and the folk upstairs, the Dusty Millers always uh, talk about the folk upstairs, meaning spirit world, spirits, angels, guiding ones, guardians, and other entities of high quality caliber, which are willing to work 
with the trade rights for the betterment of uh, humanity. And they're having very distinctive opinions how something should be formed for the best energy output. And as we had the example with this gentleman who found his name in braille on the linden tree disc, here's also another example. This I have not witnessed, but there was a gentleman who lost his thumb and had always phantom pain. And when he visited by chance this seminar where they were all laying out, he came to the table and asked what, you know, was drawn to one of these. Not one like this, it, had, it was supposed to have a little rounder end, but this knobby part fit exactly into his joint, which he had lost in this accident with a chainsaw. And the piece then fit in and he could tape it on. It was almost working like a thumb for, for him. And not only did it take the pain away for him, but it also helped him about other spiritual insights. And because it had such a very peculiar nub here, you know, where the knuckle would have been, um, Dusty Miller wanted to shave that off because it had such an odd little knobby part. And each time Dusty Miller got one, on the head like no leave that no leave that same he want with the braille he wanted to make it all smooth like the other pieces are right they're all very smooth there's nothing sticking out and again he got like no you shouldn't do that and later he found out why so he's not questioning anything anymore so um this one is for inventive skills in your fingers inventive skills in your fingers so somebody who works on all sorts of levels to ground thing i think this is partially something with grounding and being nimble and creating something oh yeah here's one this one is for the business so that i still had one left i didn't think i had this is one for the business protection you can see the runes like men in mine. They call it the men dryad. Keeping your shop business premises safe and sound and free from evil. I think we can all use that these days with the snap and wrap mentality which some people of our fellow humans have. And this is the peace within you, a little face here. Also linden tree, linden, very soft, very peace loving dryads. This is music in your soul, yeah, for music composers or also I would say for composers. Um, linden trees are very versatile in their personality. Inner guide has a little hand on it. The goddess within you. Um, this has no picture on it, I think. Not dark, it has, sorry. It has a little picture here. I don't know whether, why I wanted to hide this. And this is for your inner child, people who work with their inner child. So many different things. Another wise men healing tool. You can see they're a little bit stronger. <laughs> and obviously this is definitely meant for a bigger hand than mine. Yeah, I, I have a hard time. If I would hold it here, there's too much. Yes, so the hand will definitely be a bigger paw who's holding this piece. Ice man healing tool. What else do we have? I have an angel handbag. Um, developing intuition, several, and then also another interesting palm wand. I hope you don't get too bored. I could never get enough from these guys, but this is one which is a palm wand. Again, like a little uh, miracle worker. You can see the spiral here. And with the spiral, it's definitely multiplying, bringing in energy. When you have done Reiki, you know, when you do initiations, you're bringing it in in a spiral form before you burn the symbols into the person's energy field. 
So um, this is one which is really interesting. I'm not sure, it's not meant for me, I can feel that. But I would say I hold it this way. See how it fits in a very particular way. And it's not for my hands, but it definitely is not for big hands. I don't think. Okay, palm wand. So these are oftentimes not necessarily huge because you do not want to attract attention when you want to use these. Ah, here's another one. Keeping your business safe and sound. This is not so big. This is a little smaller, a little bit more delicate, a little bit unobtrusive. One other of the elfin shamanic 3,600 year old tree dryads. Green this time, the handle not maroon in the other, not purple like the other. And the shape is also totally different. You see different shapes, different meanings, different operation levels. And one more, I like this one. This is a very powerful one, another palm wand. It's very easily in one hand, probably with a purple color. I don't know, but somebody who likes to do transformatory work, I perceive the energy. Dusty Miller the 13th always gave us energy ideas about the colors. And purple, as we mostly know on the spiritual realm, is very deep transformatory. Lavender, more gentle, but the dark purple is more deep, powerful, transformatory. And I think this one does that sort of job. And then heal yourself and others. One of the more simpler, but nevertheless powerful ones. Simple is beautiful. Very, very beautiful in its own way. Yes, these go very easily into your system, not complicated at all. And this is mind power there. And one other shamanic label, and look how dainty it is. So we have all things from strong and powerful to tiny and dainty also for shamanic use. Very pristine, gentle and strong. Water hollows the stone, right? Gentle looking, but strong in its power. And then here we have a, one with a leaf for increased awareness on all levels. Leaf of a tree, you know, belongs all to one tree. So you have a tiny piece from a bigger piece. It's like your puzzle piece to the bigger picture. <laughs> and mind power looks like a little on. And another wise man healing ones, I don't name them. So don't blame me for wise man and wise woman in our time of gender neutral. Uh, I didn't make it up. So don't blame me. It says on the description wise man healing tool. And so this is more also, I perceive for a bigger hand. And I feel that the knob wants to go right in the middle here to do its work. Very nice. Has a little bit of pink in it. So definitely works with the theme of love and love transformation or bringing up more love. This is one, another one of these palm wands. This is very interesting in the area of having here several knobs, but then also being pointy, sending and receiving energy. And I'm not sure only the owner will know why exactly these little knobs are at the bottom of this one. Everything has its meaning. With this one, I do not know. Not my wand. Here, another healing tool, totally different this one. This is also very powerful. Dermast oak or winter oak. And here's a lot of silver in there. Silver to me is always like 
uh, detoxing, neutralizing energy and um, soft part, pointed part, sender, receiver, and then a lot going on in the middle here. All right, then we have one more general help mate. And then I kind of rushed through what I have at this moment to show you the variety on how triads want to work with us. How better can I show you than the combinational work of the triads show the Dusty Millers? You have to shape me this way for the best work to be done. This almost seems like it wants to cut energies in half. Maybe it's for cord cutting later. Who knows? I do not know. It's on to the owner to know who is going to be using it, but it's definitely called a help mate. So um, there are so much more dryer tools and they look so different. There's also some for grounding. They're called groundhog fobs. I am totally out of those. And I do not know whether the Dusty Mode of the 14s creates them. Again, he and they create things at the time, you know, when they're called in and they, they then go into the workshop and it takes for several months to do these pieces. Yes, there are rituals involved. There is there are things involved so that these pieces can be dormant until they come to the right owner and then they are going to uh, wake up, so to speak. So there's a lot more to it than uh, meets the eye when we are uh, working with these or I show you today, I share, I just simply share with you today what's there. This one woke up for me, so I am excited to work with this weird looking little thing today in our healing journey to maybe boost my energy level today when we do our divine light healing circle. I will share maybe next time what happened on it. So um, again, when you want to connect with a dryad, you don't have to have one of these tools. Of course you can, if you want to, you can just email me to claudiagranger1 at gmail.com and say, hey, you showed that one which looked like this and this, and then we can confer. Um, but if you do not want to have a constant companion with you that way, you definitely can find a dryer to work with just near you. How you do it, you find ley lines. Why? Because trees on ley lines, they are way more open to not see people as you know commodities around standing around whatnot they they see people as partners to work with and believe me it's 3600 year old tree spirit has a lot more wisdom than a 50 60 70 year old human makes sense right so they have a lot to teach us but when we go to places where even if it's just a new development. Look around when you find trees with two trunks, they are on a energy line called ley line. And then the energy goes right through where the two fingers spread because the tree has to build out two trunks because the energy is so strong. Sometimes there might even be three trunks. Then there is one energy line and another energy line going through. And sometimes there might even be a whole handful of trunks. And then we have a little mini vortex in the middle of that what looks like a hand. This is supposed to be the trunks, by the way. <laughs> I know, a little silly. I feel silly today with so much energy going around me. So look for trees on a ley line. And if you are standing on the ley line, do this pendulum thing like in which direction can I go better to have a tree willing to communicate with you let's say it's going forward or let's say it's going backward then you turn around if it's backward and do the thing okay let your inner senses show you which tree would love to work with you then introduce yourself to the tree and say hey my name is Claudia or my name is John Jim 
and so on. And uh, can I work with you? And again, we ask and listen. Do we go forward or do we go backward? Like, is it a yes or is it a no? Or do we feel sideward? Like, no, but that one next door wants to talk to you. So pay attention to where your body is moving you to because they have their very individual way how they move people. And mostly it's through the energy field using your body as the pendulum to direct you into what direction they would like you to go. And then, okay, you found your tree and you introduce yourself and most likely you would like to sit with the back to the tree so that your spine is aligned with the energy sap flow of the tree going up. But sometimes they have trees which have these ley lines and sometimes the saddle in between here is so large that you can easily sit in the middle of the ley line. Maybe that's where they want you or they want you just stand and head, have your head towards the tree trunk. Might be that, or just giving a hug, who knows? Uh, I have all encountered these different positions in the ley line uh, energy way, or um, with my head towards a tree, or with my head uh, really embracing one, or sitting next to it, lean back. Trust your intuition here. And then, just try to be quiet and feel the tree energy. Just feel your surrounding. Just listen. What do you hear? Maybe you hear water. Maybe you hear insects. Maybe you hear birds. Maybe you hear something or better, even nothing. But the importance is to be quiet and give your mind sc scatter over to your senses and feeling. And when you do that, you most likely will be brought down into a trance light state. Maybe you also do a guided meditation where you connect with a tree and it engulfs you with its energy and you're building roots through your feet into the ground like the tree does. And you're just connecting with the essence of the tree. So in case the tree gives you pictures, it might be very, very fast, like bam, 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 bam. And you are allowed to say to the tree, slow down. This is too fast for my brain. I cannot compute that fast. So you can think and therefore communicate to the tree that way too. And then you say, okay, now I can see. And there might give you pictures or images or sensation or just knowing pops into your mind. That can happen too. But however it works, try it out. Again, the tree spirits are waiting for you. And my big guy here in all this wants to be shown one more time. So this is the really strong one who initialized our conversation here today. I wish you all a wonderful day and till we see you next time. If you have questions, please email or give a comment downstairs. And maybe if you find this either entertaining or informative, click the subscribe button or even the bell for getting more of this sort of thing like I tell you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.